Stay away. Stay away. Uh, yep, there I go. Man! Oh, and I'm back at spawn. Ah. Cranberry bushes! Yoink. More berry bushes! Elderberry, huh? I've never had an elderberry in my life. Oh, way too much stuff. Come on, let me get the stuff. Get it! Come on! Come on! Right here. Grab it! Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma Punk. Um, yeah. So I died. That kinda sucks. Just trying to get stuff ready for the episode, and then it got dark, and, and then... And then I died. That's sad, right? Anyways, <laughs> back to business. Dying was actually kind of a good thing because I got a whole load of berry bushes. There's tons of them. I found more jute. I found some maize seeds. And I went and got a bunch of those pumpkins. Which is amazing. And then if you saw, I made a little clip just a second ago where I went and harvested. Alright, I made that campfire. And made torches and then harvested some pumpkins so that we could get one of our quests done. There's my book. So we have a couple of quests to turn in. So there's this one. Can I turn it in? Oh, I bet I know what's wrong. My inventory is too full. Alright, how about now? There we go. And I did this one as well. It probably wants me to get rid of some junk first. Get rid of the squash seeds. Hmm. Blueberries, of course. Still not enough space. Let's get rid of that. Alright, nice. Now it wants me to make four ceramic jugs and four ceramic bowls. So we'll have to make it pick kiln for that. And we need paper. This one we could probably do really quick. Yeah. Never mind. I don't have a 3x3 three three crafting grid. I lied, I can't do that one. So we will do that later. <laughs> anyway, uh, before the end of last episode, I did not turn these into tools. So we'll do that really quick. Um, so there's a lot of stuff with this episode that I was trying to get done before I started recording. I mean, I was recording, but I wasn't talking or anything. Uh, and it's all not very interesting stuff, but I had an idea that I might talk. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Ninja West, do you talk way too much? You just ramble on and on. And you go off on all sorts of tangents. I know. I have a problem. 
But the only way I could fix it is if I practice. So you're stuck with me. Plus I have no space. Amazing thing about this saw, best tool in the whole thing, we can make a lumber, which we can then use, wait for this, to make planks. But then it goes even further. And we do a 2x2 two two in our grid here, and we make a workbench. Voila! 3x3 three three crafting grid. Amazing. And then we can make a chest or two. Give me that. Missing all the, all the hotkeys. Now we have a chest. Now my inventory is not so full. Awesome thing about logs is if you shift right click, makes a little log pile and then you can just shift click everything into there. Holds a stack, which is 16 in this. Looks like we're hungry, so let's get a little nibble on the blueberry. And of course it's getting dark, why wouldn't it be? And I still don't have a safe home. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get a couple of these so things aren't spawning in my immediate vicinity. Okay, so, what was I talking about? Right, <laughs> lives. I now only have four. You can check it on this page. It says, I have currently died once. So that was my first death. These are how many lives I have left. You start with five. You can get more the more you play. Anyways, let's let's get to work here before I get murdered again. The zombies are already after me, I can see. Oh, man. A spider. It's the one guy I can't deal with right now. Actually, I have the sword now. Where'd he go? Oh, he's down there. He can just stay down there. Oh, such a mess. Nighttime is such a mess in this. Leave me alone, Irene. And spindle returns. Okay, so while well, we have a second here where we're not being mobbed. Oh, well, we're not being mobbed. Uh, let's have a little bit of a story time. So right now I am in a bit of an interesting point in my life. Just graduated high school. And I honestly have no idea what I want to do with my life. <laughs> so many different opportunities I have. Um, I did actually just get rejected for one thing that I really wanted to do. But, you know, it's life. It happens. Um, I'm currently looking for another job, which I know you guys don't even care about. But anyways... It's an interesting point in my life, and I don't know exactly what to do right now. Uh, YouTube is something that I've always wanted to do, that's why I'm doing it right now. Just kind of on the side. That guy's worrying me. <laughs> Anyways, that's why I'm kind of doing it on the side. I'd love to make it a career, but that's really not possible. Without the help of you, the viewer. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. So, I honestly absolutely hate it when YouTubers or live streamers or anything is like, oh, subscribe to my channel, and blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. I, I don't like that, and I really don't like doing it. But the truth is, the reason that they do it is because it helps. So, <laughs> it's probably going to be the last time I ask, but if you could, and you've made it this far into the video already, you could leave a like. That's all I'm asking. You don't have to subscribe or anything. Just leave a like, and it helps other people find me. And I would really appreciate it. Anyways, enough of the sob story. Let's get back to work.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he was an assassin. <laughs> Two deaths in like one day. In 20 minutes. You've got to be joking me. Was so close to done. It was like four blocks left. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Are you kidding? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I was so close. He, the guy totally like, not even joking, just ninja assassin out of nowhere. Just murdered me in my face. Scare it to the waypoint. Found a peach tree, but yeah, it's okay. Doesn't matter. I can't believe that. Man, that sucks. Two deaths in one episode. If it keeps up at that rate, this is going to be a really short series. <laughs> ah, I'm so annoyed by that. <laughs> I found more berry bushes too. Let's just just dump all the crap in the in the chest here. I'm just I'm just gonna cry to myself for a little while. It's okay. Okay, enough fooling around. So I finished the trenches. Uh, we should be a hundred percent safe from normal mobs, but like spiders can still get up here. Like this guy. <laughs> Go away! There's been enough tragedy in this episode for one day. Go away! Oh no. This isn't good. <gasps> Please, not a third one! I'm begging! Mr. Piggy. Mr. Piggy. Do you think that meat old spider's gone yet? You don't care at all, do you? Hey you, do you think that mean old spider's gone yet? Oh, oh, now I talk to someone else, now you're interested? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I ran away here. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna sneak around you. Okay, he's mad. I ran away and sat there for a minute or two. Hopefully the spider's gone. <laughs> Looks like it is. I missed the parkour. I missed it again. Okay, there we go. Anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna make a temporary little shelter, just out of junky stuff that I got here. Um, also, I'm gonna make a couple of these barrels. These barrels? Amazing. One of the most useful things in this. So basically, what you can do with them, they're kind of like a chest, but you can carry them around with you. They're like a, a bigger version of this. And you can open them. You can put liquid or um, 12 items. Yes, math. math yeah. <laughs> you can put 12 items in each. They're awesome. You can seal them. Uh, if you seal them, you can carry around the stuff that's inside them. Which is, you know... That's pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, just so I could spend the night a little bit safer though. Uh, I got my defensive barrier here and all. But the spiders can still get up here. And like, skeletons could still shoot me. And I'm doing this right as the sun is setting. So hopefully I can get this down quick enough. I'm just going to build myself a little 
little platform up here. Make it so the spiders can't get up here. Then I'm going to give myself some... Some safe space. <laughs> so I can't get shot at. Okay. Now that that's done, I am going to chop this tree down. And we're going to do a couple of our... Our A quest in the quest book, so I don't feel like I've done nothing this episode. And then I have a little treat planned out, so... <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Hey, let's stick these in a hole. And stick our bowls in there. Then I will start these firing, and... I will get back to you in the morning, hopefully. Hopefully I don't die again. That would be a little bit embarrassing. I think before we end off this episode today, I am going to get into the metal working. We have everything we need to do it, it's just I need to do a little more prep to get it to the right point. So. We'll do that right now. So right now, what I'm doing is making charcoal, and to make charcoal, you have to dig a pit or get a room or something, and have it so there's no air, no no log piles um, that have an air block next to them. Then you catch them on fire. Maybe. No, I don't think I can use this. Light up the campfire and we'll make a torch. Now, to light these, one of the ways you can do it, which I think is really cool, is you just throw a torch on the ground. You'll see all these little sparks flying off. And... Poof! And then you cover it up and you see these smoke particles coming out of the top. That means it's working. And we can go off and do whatever we want. So I'm going to get some stuff together for metalworking, the early stages, and I'll kind of explain how it works. I'll be right back. Before I forget, and this is actually something I need for metalworking, if you have a chisel and you have a hammer, which I have a stone hammer and a copper chisel, uh, you can change the modes on the chisel to do all sorts of different things. I can't remember what my button was. That one. It's a little glitchy. I have to like move. But there's all sorts of different modes. Like this one is super high detail mode. You can go in and carve in like little itty bits of a block. Then there's a bunch of other ones that the pack adds that I don't know exactly what they do. But what we want is the default one. So this is the mode we want. This is the default mode. And if you just right click, then it turns it into the smooth stuff. And we need this smooth stuff for making a forge. So I'll mine this up and I'll move on to the next part to show you what it is. Oh snap, just exploring looking for what I needed and I found a leather water sack. Doesn't look like much, but it is actually an upgrade to the ceramic jug here. So it's basically like the ceramic jug, but I can use it more than once. But I have to fill it up first, of course. Maybe. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Okay. So here's the final piece of the puzzle. Not the final. The next. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself here. Next piece of the puzzle is a stone anvil. And to make a stone anvil, you need a very specific kind of rock. And granite just happens to be one of those kinds of rocks that you can use as a stone anvil. Uh, I think there's a couple others. One is gabbro. 
Um, uh, another is Basalt, and I don't know what the last one is. But you have to do this special trick in Terraformer Craft, and you go break all the blocks around another block that are directly next to it, and it'll pop off in a little cube like this. And you can take this and use it as your stone anvil, which is extremely useful. Uh, just so you know, the first game has to be granite, gabbro, or uh, basalt. Hmm. Bit of a problem here. Not really a problem. But this island here might actually be a better place to build home than where we are currently building home. So haven't decided yet, but I might move everything out here, and this will be our new home. And the reason why is because it's separated from the mainland by water, so mobs can't get to me. Only the ones that spawn on the island, and it has fresh water lining the edge of the island over there, so fresh water is easily accessible, and salt water, both are useful. So yeah, might be moving everything out here, we'll see. Alright, awesome! So I found what I've been looking for. This is a just randomly generated structure that can occur in Terraforma Punk, and it is made out of marble. Marble is the stuff we need! Why do we need marble? Good question. We can use the marble to make a very important mineral called Let's see, flux. And that flux we need for welding ingots together, which is needed for multiple types of tools, it's needed for armor, and all sorts of other stuff. So, happy I found it, and yeah, I'll be back with you guys as soon as I get enough and I'm back home. Oh yeah! Found some cows. Cows are so rare in this. I'm so happy I found these guys. Alright, we made it home and our charcoal is done, so I'm going to collect this. Alright, I'm starting up a pit kiln here just because I need some copper in ingot form, so I'm firing up some copper in one of these vessels and then I'm firing up a bunch of these clay molds. As soon as that's done, I will have everything set up, and um, we'll be ready to go. Alright, our pit kiln's about to finish up here. Uh, fortunately, it is... not fortunately. Unfortunately, it is raining, and I can't really do anything about that. Alright, there it went. Go, go, go. Throw the squash away. Okay, we grabbed all our molds, grabbed the vessel, now we stick the molds in here, and we drain the copper. Alright, so, I waited for the rain to stop here, and day. Um, so basically, how you start the metalworking in the early game here is, you get one, two, three, four five stone blocks. Doesn't have to be polished, doesn't have to be the normal stuff like that. It can be bricks, it could be any of them really. Uh, but basically uh, you're gonna take your coal, you need eight of your charcoal, and you right click, you place eight of them, and now you have a block of charcoal here. And you take your lighter, and you light it on fire. Maybe. Why no light? There we go. So now we have a forge here, which is awesome. And we take our granite that we have, and we take our hammer, and we right-click the top of it. We, we right-click the top of it, and we get hammer die. <laughs> now this is a stone anvil, and we put the hammer in this slot, the flux in that, that slot, and now we put some of our stuff in here, and we'll put our copper in here. 
So the whole point of this forge and this stone anvil is so we can work copper ingots, or any ingot, on an anvil, but it has to be the respective anvil. I need another fire starter. That's perfect timing. Alright, so we, we light our forge again. Now we can look inside and you see that these now say warming on them. So once they get to a certain temperature, they are both workable and weldable. And we want to weld them together. We need 14 ingots and we need to weld those ingots together. And then we get, uh, when we weld the ingots together, we get double ingots and we use double ingots to make the copper anvil. Anvil. Right here. We need um, seven of these double ingots to make the copper anvil. So we're very far off on the copper department, but we'll make it there eventually. I'll probably do it off camera in between this episode and next episode just to get it together. Alright, so our copper is just barely hitting welding temperature. I'm going to get it a little bit hop hotter. Now it's turned orange. Should say danger here any second. All right, danger, that means it's about to melt. Put two more copper ingots in there. Then we stick these in here and we click weld. Now we have a double ingot. Gotta do this quick or they'll cool down. All right, nice. Now we have two double ingots. That's two of the seven that we need. Uh, I'm gonna save these two and I'm gonna make a couple of tools out of them. Actually, I'm not going to make some tools out of them, not in this episode at least, <laughs> just because I don't have enough charcoal to keep this running long enough to get them hot enough. So instead of doing that, we are going to uh, turn in our quests. Let's go up here. While I was exploring, I got a couple of reward bags out of chests. Then I killed a uh, Minotaur, and I got his overalls, so we'll put those on. I look pretty dapper, don't you think? Anyways, so let's turn in some of our quests here. I got Metamorphic for mining the uh, marble. Let's take the clay. And I killed a bunch of zombies in this episode. Let's take... Fermented Spider Eye. Then our pottery quest, and you see if I hover over it, it says unlocks a quest elsewhere. So we're going to unlock a new branch by finishing this quest. Let's take some, some seaweed, why not? And we did this one a long time ago. We'll take the reeds. Oh, we just get them, never mind. We'll take them anyway. Now we have unlocked the blacksmith. And we can do this quest really really quick here too. Many of them does it want just one. So you make a gold pan from these ceramic poles, you put it in your inventory, and it turns it into a gold pan. Well in your crafting window. So that's one more out of the way. And we did this one. We don't have plum, so I will take the plum. As soon as I inventory up a little bit, take plum, and then for our copper ingot one, we get a ceramic mold, and so on and so forth. These hearts, you can get them from quests. Some uh, creatures drop stuff that give them to you, so you right-click it. Now I have another heart, another life. And let's open our quest bags. Let's do the bad ones first. <sighs> That's a really good one. <laughs> oh, and a legendary loot bag, yes. Okay, that one kind of sucked. Yeah, that one was okay. Okay, that one really sucked. Let's do the legendary bag. What's in this? Uh, uh, kind of sucks. <laughs> but you know what doesn't suck? I have a stool now. It's beautiful. 
<laughs> what else we got? We got a, a bookshelf. The clock. Oh, that's cool. It actually ticks. Before I leave you here, um, for the episode, we have some important business. Some very sad and important business we need to finish really quick. <gasps> Sorry, I was so teared up. So sad. Oh. Today we are here to mourn the death of our dear friend, Ninja Westy number one. He lived a good life and he saw many things. It was really sad when I had heard he had gone. Oh, Ninja Westy one, we will miss you. You were the first to start something great. But we aren't here today to mourn the death of just one. But there was another who died today as well. Ninja Westy number two. His life was short and unfair. Can't help but feel sorry for him. There were so many things he wanted to do. But sadly, it could not be. He lost his life to a minotaur who ninja assassinated him. We will never forget the sacrifice he made for us. Ninja Westy 1 was taken from us by a hedge spider, and Ninja Westy 2 taken by an, a horned invader. We will never forget you. Our dear friends, Ninja Westy 1 and 2.